All orchids require associations with pollinators. So insects or birds, whatever happens to be the pollinator for those orchids is often really specific. And so the characteristics of the orchid flower are just exquisitely tuned to the types of pollinators that that species depends on. There are orchids that can use a pretty broad range of pollinators. They have pretty open flowers, they provide nectar, but a lot of orchids don't provide nectar, so they attract the pollinators sort of by cheating them. The pink lady slipper orchid depends on um, an association with bumblebees that are just emerging above ground in the spring. And they will see this bright pink flower and they think, ooh, I'm hungry, there's food. <laughs> and there's not much else around at that time of year. And the bee will fly in thinking that it's getting some nectar and there's no nectar. And it flies around and tries to get out and, and eventually manages to work its way out by crawling right past the pollen of the orchid. And so then it gets the pollen from the orchid on the bee. The bee then will fly off, go looking for something else because she's still hungry. And that way, then the orchid is able to get cross-pollination.